Hey, Luna Moth here. So, first of all, I have been seeing this number combination with in increasing frequency. Uh, 5889. So, what I'm seeing or like what I'm getting is that um, it's like 5.0, 9.0. Um, like 5.0 forwards, 9.0 backwards, um, and they're like sandwiching each other. It's like a game of ping pong between the two, <laughs> sorry, between the two numbers. So, um, it's like basically take out the 8.8s, eight and 5 and 9 are playing a ping pong game and sending the ball back and forth to each other. So 5.0, and 9.0, 5.0, 9.0, 5.0, 9.0, earthquake. Um, so I was, I've been seeing that more and more, and it took me a few times to catch that I was, like, seeing that number combination um, repeatedly, and that it's that exact number combination. I tried to make this video uh, three times yesterday. <laughs> and it hasn't worked, and every time I try to upload it, it doesn't work. So, I kind of forgot all about it, and was doing something last night, helping a friend out, and we are driving up this big hill in the city, and all of a sudden, it's like midnight, and there's like a car coming, we're like, is that a cop? What is a cop even doing up here right now? And I looked at its license, it's coming towards us, and its license plate says 5889, and I'm like, oh my god. Um, so, what I am getting, or what I saw, was there, there's an article I was reading two days ago, <laughs> that all of a sudden it clicked in my head, <laughs> and it says, distant earthquake triggers ice quake in Antarctica, and it's talking about how there was an 8.8 .8 earthquake in Chile, um, in February or March of 2010, I believe. I don't know. And it triggered um, fracturing, tremblings, and movements of the ice um, formations in Antarctica. Um, so it's... Uh, it was showing me how, like, two different areas of the world... Uh, bounce off of each other, you know, as far as the vibrations and energy they produce that affects the other one, and how that energy basically just goes back and forth until, like, it, the energy has to go and settle somewhere, and so the energy just goes back and forth, back and forth, um, and so I feel like it was showing me that, like, a 5.0 in the right location could trigger a 9.0 somewhere else, which would trigger a 5.0, which would trigger a 9.0. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, I don't know the correct verbiage for it, but it's how one side affects the other side and how a smaller quake or something we think of as not that large could intensify and magnify by the time it hits somewhere else to produce a very large quake. Um, and so I don't know if this is showing me like the pattern of how this large earthquake is going to happen. Um, I feel like I'm just getting more information on the large quake that's coming. Um, okay, also, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, I was seeing 788 everywhere along with 188. Uh, 188 is my symbol for earthquake, and 788 is a 7.0. Um, so it just kept coming at me, coming at me as I was driving. Then I was stopped, stuck in traffic at a light, and I had several of the numbers pass me by, like going the opposite direction, so they're just coming at me. 788, 188, 788, 188. And so it was starting to kind of freak out a little bit, honestly. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is coming, this is coming fast. Um, I've never seen, like, I've had 788 and 988 in, like, on the back burner, I want to say, before, but 
never with such like intensity as right now, um, particularly with 788. So I started to kind of get nervous. And then another car came around the bend and was coming towards me with a license plate that said, you're okay, Y-O-U-R-E, okay. Um, it's an unusual plate. I've never seen anything like it before. And uh, California license plates only have seven characters on them usually. This one had eight because it has a space in between the two words. So it just looked funny. Um and it was like I was being shouted at because all of the letters are in caps. So it's like, you're okay. Um, but it kind of like took that to mean either that it's going to happen in a region far away from me, <laughs> which I don't really think is the case, or that it's going to happen near me, but I will be protected. I'll be okay. Um, and to not freak out. Um, so there was that. Uh, it was just like, it's like, I kid you not, this license plate came around the corner and I was like, like, it's like, are you shitting me? <laughs> um, and then the next day, yesterday, when I was trying to originally make these videos, uh, there was a song that I heard that caught my ear. Um, and I, I've heard the song before. It's a really beautiful song. But I walked in on the lyrics that said, The sea was red and the sky was gray. Wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today. The mountains and the canyons started to tremble and shake. And the children of the sun began to awake. So, um, this morning I just heard something about a the sea off of Florida being blood red. It's because of an algae bloom, but the sea was red, the sky was gray. And then it's talking about mountains and canyons trembling and shaking like a big earthquake. Um, and the children of the sun began to awake, like children of the sun, children of the light, God's children awakening. Um, and I've heard the song before, but I did not know the title of the song. It's by Lab Zeppelin. It's actually called Going to California. Um, so that is kind of another reason why I think that the quake is, the 7.0 at least, is coming to an area near you. Uh, I'm going to read the whole lyrics of the song because it has other things that I think are interesting in it um, and symbolic. Uh, Spent my days with a woman unkind. Smoked my stuff and drank all my wine. Made up my mind to make a uh, new start. Going to California with an aching in my heart. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers in her hair. Uh, took my chances on a big jet plane. Never let them tell you that they're all the same. The sea was red and the sky was gray. Wondered how tomorrow could ever follow today. The mountains and the canyon started to tremble and shake as the children of the sun began to awake. Seems that the wrath of the gods got a punch on the nose and it started to flow. I think I might be sinking. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I'll meet you up there where the path runs straight and high. Um, to find a queen without a king, they say she plays guitar and cries and sings. This part I thought was interesting. Ride a white mare in the footsteps of dawn. So like a white horse, a pale horse, like in the book of Revelation. Trying to find a woman who has never, never, never been born. Standing on a hill in my mountain of dreams, telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems. So that's going to California. Uh, that's going to California by Led Zeppelin. And I will post um, links in the text box below. Um, if you have any comments, questions, I'm also going to be making a video about repeating numbers today. So um, I'll try to cover some of the ones that you guys had questions about. Um, but if you have any other like confirmations of this, if you uh, are watching other videos that confirm what I'm saying, please uh, link them back to me so that I can watch them. Uh, and I guess stay tuned. Have a good night.